Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I kind of want to hop on that little ship over there, but I feel like it's kind of a pointless endeavor. So, let's open our map. And I think there was a few small things left to do over here. Uh, loot, free a captive, loot some treasure... And then there was another place to find over that way. So let's go do that first. Which I assume is the place that we literally were just at. I also feel like we did all the things that we were supposed to do there. but uh, Except for maybe looting the treasure. But look, there's a captive right here. High security here. I don't care about no security. You're welcome. I can't thank you enough. Yet. Yeah. Alright. Icarus. Find me some some treasure loot. Uh, okay, there's a treasure loot there. Some treasure loot there. Alright. And there's something over there that I can go into, which is weird and interesting, and I'm kind of curious. So, we'll have to figure it out. Alright, so over here somewhere... Inside this building, somehow Icarus had his uh, his mojo on. And he was able to see into the building. Oh, there's three. I thought there was two. Well, that seems like a very uh, useless thing. Hmm. Well... There we go. I figured out how to drop off ledges. I'm sure people have already told me by now, and I apologize if I ignored them, didn't listen, or uh, it's possible that I recorded episodes ahead of time. I'm about four or five episodes ahead of where um, what I have uploaded right now as far as recordings. So I'm sure people have answered me. It's essentially the dismount button is the same as the drop off of a ledge and hang button, which I didn't know. I know now. I've learned. I've learned something new. It's glorious. I know we have a skill point that I haven't used as well. I'm aware of these things. I know it probably drives some people crazy. Uh, assassin damage. Son of a penguin. Alright, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, abilities. We just have the one point? We do. Uh, still can't Sparta kick further. Or that one. Or that one. Uh, it's fine. Break small shield. Yeah, why not? Ah, uh, that seems like that kind of a button. Alright, cool. So there we go. Uh, Icarus! Uh, I need some more, uh... There we go. So I need some more help, but... Is it possible to, to actually find the, uh... The goat that ran off with our, uh... With the obsidian eye? smuggled away is that a possibility I feel like it should be but also feel like she's crafty clever and agile enough that she could have done some sleight of hand she could be like oh yeah go get it and it not have actually been where she claimed she had put it jeez woman's got some severe upper body and lower body strength strong woman Get him, Icarus. I want that goat. Come on, Obsidian Eye. No, oh, the dream. The dream was there. It just wasn't realized. Yeah. <laughs> All right, onward and upward we go, over these uh, little hills here, and continuing to climb. I'm not sure what inspires Icarus to hunt, but Icarus hunts every once in a while, it seems. The Tomb of the Suitors, well... Uh... Oh, okay. I'm like, I feel like I heard a trap go off. And I did. Okay, uh, that's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, 
totally okay. All right, so did we finish all the, the stuff? Or was this not part of the, the area that we were in? It was not. We were too far out. Ah, there it is. Okay, thank you, Icarus. Well, I do like that. I like to look around a bit on my own, They'll but... They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. No, you don't. Oh, that makes it so much easier to do it that way. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so we've cleared this area out. There's a multitude of different random places that we can go into. Let's go into this one back here. Come on, woman. You had... You know what? It's fine. Let's take the ladder. It's totally fine. And it's, what, right below us? Alright, so here we are. Get into another cave of doom. Who knows what's going to be here. Hello? Anyone in the cave of doom? Well, we're, we're looking. Looks like there's a sneaky spot here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, see that? I can find stuff every so often. Not always, but every once in a while. Well, it already has a torch in here. Some drachmi. whole bunch of random stuff here that we're just going to loot and pilfer. Lots of drachmi. Some more iron metal. Can we have some copper metal too? No. Hey, get, get off of this thing. Come on. There we go. Alright. Really? Almost looked like there was a place to go there briefly. Well, whatever. I don't know, I think I'd be freaked out to be in a place like this. Whether there were creatures to eat me in here or not. Seems overly dark. And I don't I don't know. I I think I'd be uncomfortable. I can't say I've ever really been in a cave. Have a lot of people been in caves? I feel like that's not a thing that happens as frequently as it may be used to. How do I... Well, I, I, I don't know if that did anything, but it seemed to allow me to have that item, so... Yeah, caves are interesting. I, I think I, I went into like some some like fake caves or like Let's hope no one notices me here. partial caves that weren't like full on like just real caves with dead ends. They were like built into other things. They use it as like part of a, a a dealie. So like I think I've been around stuff like that, but I, I can't say that I've ever been in an actual real cave. Especially one that like you, you come across naturally, like in the wild or what have you. I'd say that with a large amount of certainty. Alright, what are we doing in this place? Oh, there's lots of broken stuff here. Well, let's go underwater. We're stealthy underwater. Ooh, what's this? 
Some dead dude we just robbed. That was tied to the bottom of the... That's... That's awfully harsh. I'm just saying. What exactly did we find? I don't even know what we found. Oh, this brought us back to this cave. Okay, that's kind of neat. Well, we did a lot of cave searching. And hopefully you guys are okay with that. One thing you guys can't dispute about Ubisoft, and I know there's a lot of people who hate Ubisoft, a lot of people who like it, uh, a lot of people don't like specific game titles or franchises that they do, whatever the case is. But one thing you really can't say, and I know that people are going to be like, Well, they reused assets for Far Cry Primal from Far Cry, was it 3 or 4, one of the DLC? I, I don't know. Anyway, despite all that, and despite the people who are still going to say that, they do a fantastic job at world building. For all the, the hate and everything else that people do have toward Ubisoft, for whatever the reason, um, they do a really, really good job at just building worlds. From whether you like The Division or not, or uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, or Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Far Cry Primal, any, any, any of the franchises they have. They do a fantastic job building the world up. Let's go. But I think yeah. most people would even agree with that. I think they do quite, quite well. All right, so we're almost ready to go all the way back to do everything that we needed to do. Uh, map. All right. Except we need to go here before we go anywhere else, which I feel like I have just kind of was there and then I left there, so yeah. I think we can probably get there if we go around the ridge along the top. Oh, that is a giant chasm. I don't suppose there's a rope across the thing. Let's go. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Oh, this is not going to end well. well. I'm not gonna lie; it ended way better than I expected it to. All right, onward. Phobos did quite well. Yeah, if only Marcus was a little bit helper, a little bit more uh, of a help to us. He had a little bit more help he could offer, paid us better. I don't know. Like I feel like Marcus is just kind of a a waste of space and life, honestly. I mean, he took us in, but again, it was all about what could we do for him, right? A little bit of an unfortunate little situation we got ourselves in there, but that's okay. Come on, stay on path, stay on course, stop veering. We've made it to Phobos. It's Kleptos' look at. Uh oh. Hey guys. I feel like it's a little bit late to stay out of sight. Who, who's running? You will die right here. I tried to dodge. Oh, oh, I tried to dodge. I couldn't do it in time. Fair play. Boom. And that's what you get. I know I should have probably been a little bit quicker at uh, dismounting from Phobos, but I did not. I did not dismount quick enough. I could have also tried fighting off of the horseback. I haven't really done that. Icaris, where are we? Oh, never mind. I should have just continued on with what I was doing. All right, oopsie daisy. Here we are. That's right. I said daisy. 
All right, we're going to leap on down. Phobos is sitting there chilling, waiting, ready to go. Uh, the only thing that we haven't done is we didn't find the dive with the marble lady thing. I still remember that, and I don't know if we have any information about that. So my guess is maybe we check here. It was a, it was one of these. Okay. Take the plunge, everyone. In the, blah, 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 the coast of Colada is rumored to have be bottomless. There's a lake in the coast. Okay. If you're able to dive as far as the woman in marble, you'll be able to claim me. Okay. So we're gonna go take a peek for that, real quick, like the coast of yeah, that's over here. Okay. So we're gonna head to that lake. All right. Let's go, Phobos. Hopefully we can get there before the end of the episode. I think we can. And then I believe at that point, everything's pretty much done. Just turn ins at that point, and then we leave. We probably leave this starting area, this like first island, Cephalonia. We'd be done. We'd be all like, we out. Deuce, deuce. Which is cool. It's nice to finish up an area. Feels good. I've just recently finished uh, playing up some episodes, uh, recording some episodes of HOM 5, yeah. Resident Might Magic 5, and oh boy, I forgot how nasty the uh, first mission of the Inferno group is. So essentially we're on like chapter 2 of the uh, main game story campaign, and oh boy, first mission in chapter 2, that is no joke, I, 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 done, I done got got, it wasn't great, so... We'll have to figure out how we're going to rectify that in the future. Alright, I'm diving into the bottomless lake. The Lady in Marble. That must be her. Okay, cool. Crit damage while at full health. Now, I haven't done anything with, um... Oh, there's something shiny down here. I haven't done anything with the engravings yet. That is just not a thing that I've started to really play around with. So there's still some stuff that I need to do with that. It'll give me some extra bonuses and things that I just haven't received yet. Alright, let's look around real quick. Um, I think we probably got everything? It feels like we got everything. I don't know whether or not we did. We did not. We are running out of air, though. Ooh, we got a heavy bow. Does kind of bode well for us. Alright. Yes, I know. Return to the surface. Thank you for the warning. She's fine. The surface is right there. Look, it's not a big deal. Alright, cool. So we did that. We handled a bunch of stuff. We should probably start playing around with some engravings and just get used to what they are and when and how to use them. But before we do any of that stuff, Bobos ran on over. We're going to go ahead and we're going to check out our inventory. I know we have some new equipment and items and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what's new right now. Oh yeah, the axes. Ooh. Warrior damage. I think I have to. I think I have to, even though it's not as good. I think I have to switch to the axe. And that's going to be nice. All right, so we got we got ourselves an axe. We have a heavy bow. It's level seven. It is for assassin. We're not going to switch. I think a heavy bow would not be for an assassin. Uh, we have a warrior damage hat when we hit eight, which is fantastic. Something we desperately needed. Level six assassin. Uh, not really what we're after. All right, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? Warrior damage, and that is an improvement in some ways. What are we losing out on? 2% health and 6% total armor. I'm fine with it. We do lose a little bit on actual warrior damage because it's 6% damage versus not. Where's the show our armor? It's actually still worse despite everything. So I'm not going to switch that. That's cool. I didn't notice down at the bottom here there's actually a comparison tab. Alright, uh, anything else here? No.
All right, that's pretty much it. Let's hop on and let's uh, head to our actual quest objective marker, which I can't seem to find. There it is. We'll be making it right back into the town of Sami here real, real, real soon. And that'll pretty much do it for the episode. Maybe we can get through some of the cutscenes and stuff. And have all of our prep work done. I don't know. We'll see. Good job. Good job, Phobos. All right. What's up? We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait. It's Phoebe. Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Uh, what? What happened with Marcus? Why didn't we talk to Marcus? I know we're not super thrilled with him right now, but shouldn't we have been like, "Hey, dude, we took care of the problem. Don't do anything stupid again." We're even. I'm leaving Kefalonia for a while. I'll be back. Because, like, we work with Marcus. We're, like, partners with him in some way. He saved us. I feel like we're not communicating as well as we should. You're too little. Kefalonia is your home. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. I can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Aww. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. She gonna Besides, break that. I love Kina to play with. Since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with a fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. Why do I have a bad feeling that when I come back, Kefalonia is going to be just destroyed, devastated, wiped out, and completely annihilated by plague? I have that feeling like I did the wrong thing saving those people. I'll see you again. I hope I'll see you again. I'm not coming back to Kefalonia. I'll see you again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. What, again, what about Mar Marcus? Marcus. Cassandra! There we are. Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. Ugh. Fine. All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, <laughs> will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcus. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Uh huh. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes. Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? That seems bad. Marcus, take care of her, please. Ready to set sail? Yeah, let's do it. Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good. The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. Oh yeah, guys, guys. We're about to get into this proper. I'm not sure what that means, but... There's going to be a whole lot of new mechanics coming out, so, and I have no idea what I'm set. doing. Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Uh-oh. Flashback time. <laughs> the Oracle has spoken <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall. The child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, your 
Come to Nokar. He'll help us. He will lead us. Silence! <laughs> And he thought you had a complicated home life. What in the blue blazes? Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. That's um, some weird stuff. So they threw baby... Alexios off and then threw her off too? Like, what? Why? What? I, I, hmm. Well, we about to have some vengeance. We about to go and slap around a few fools. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right I like this. There. Let's get moving! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this particular episode. In the next episode, we get our first taste at boat things, which I've never done in an Assassin's Creed game. So, it should be interesting, except, again, Black Flag. I don't remember getting onto a boat. Maybe I started... I, I honestly do not remember the start of Black Flag. I'm sorry, guys and gals. It was real short. Like, I loaded it up, I started up, like, this looks amazing, and then that was it. It was just, like, minutes. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquigums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>